In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to connect SQL Server Database with Visual Studio Project. So, double click on web.config and in the configuration tag, add a tag that is connection string and in the connection string, add a tag that is add after, after that type name and give a name according to your choice. I will specify here data underscore connection after this type connection string now click on view then click on server explorer then right click on data connection then click on add connection if you are using sql express then simply type dot backslash sql express and in the authentication select windows authentication and select the database in the select or enter a database name in the so now click on the drop down and select the database and click on test connection if it is successful then click on ok then click on ok then right click on the database connection then click on properties then click on the connection string and type control a and copy the connection string and paste it over the connection string so paste it over here and save it and if you are using full version or pet version or standard version of sql server then the process is almost same but a slight different is there so let's learn how to do such connection so expand the server explorer and delete the connection string after this right click on data connection then click on add connection and click on the server name it will take some time after this select the server and in the authentication select sql server authentication and in the username type the username and password of the sql server database after this select the database on the select or enter a database name so simply click on the drop down and select the database my database is exam and click on test connection if it is successful then click ok then click ok then right click on the data connection and click on properties and click on the connection string and type control a and control c copy first remove the, the uh, connection string which we have paste it over the connection string which is which is the connection string to be used by the sql server so sql express now we are using uh, full version so full version or standard version of sql server so uh, type uh, so paste the connection string over the connection string and change the password of password with the password of the sql server so i will type admin at the red one two three this is the password of my sql server and simply save it we are writing the connection string in the web.config because we, we don't need to write every time this connection string to add to every web page if we, we if we write this connection string over the web.config then we don't need to write this connection string to every web page so we are we so we are writing this connection string in the web.config file now let's learn how to connect this sql server database with the web page i have i have already designed the web pages i will select a web pages i have already designed a web pages and simply double click on the search button we have to add some namespaces in in the web page and the namespaces is using system.data 
dot dot sql client and using system dot configuration simply copy it and paste it over the namespaces these two namespaces that is using system dot data dot sql client and using system dot configuration are for connecting sql server database now let's go to the web page again and double click on to the search button and we will write a write c sharp code here i have already designed the c sharp code here so i will simply copy this code and paste it over the search button button click event so i have already uh, written the code and paste it here we have to change only a slight one changes in this code we will go to the web.config file and we will copy this connection string name that is data underscore connection and we will paste it over this connection string in the double quote and we will save it now let's try whether my connection connection with the sql server and web page is successful or not so simply run it my web page is display here now let's check whether the web page is connected with the sql server database so i have typed the role number one here and click on search button so the data is display from the sql server database so in this way we connect sql server database with the web page